1996 was a storybook season for the Bucknell lacrosse team. Coming off a 7-6 campaign in 1995, Sid Jamison's Bison did the impossible, winning all 12 games, claiming its first Patriot League championship, and finishing the season as the nation's ninth-ranked team. The Bison did it with defense, leading the nation in goals against, allowing a little over six goals per game. Despite being the only undefeated team in Division I, Bucknell was left off the invitation list to the NCAA tournament. The slight by the NCAA doesn't diminish the accomplishments of an outstanding group of young men. 1996 was a great season, the best in Bucknell lacrosse history. In the next few minutes, we'll try to recapture the excitement of an undefeated season. The season opened on the road at Mount St. Mary's, with the Bison prevailing 15 to 10. Senior Alan Donnelly led the team with five goals, and classmate John Methvin added four. Bucknell won an amazing 23 of 26 faceoffs against the Mount. The Mount St. Mary's game was a lesson learned in faceoff dominance. Mike Altshuler was the difference um, throughout the game. We learned that it's a 60-minute game, struggling at the beginning, but getting better at each quarter. And certainly learning how to finish at the end of a contest was important. Congratulations to Mike Allshuler and to everybody. It looked like uh, we were enjoying it, having fun with Foxy Allen Donnelly doing his thing, the defensive kids playing aggressive, confidence, and uh, with a great deal of skill. Uh, a good beginning. A good way to fight through some uh, early game jitters and uh, coming out on top, 15 to 10, a great game. The Bison moved to 2-0 with a tough, low-scoring win over Penn, beating the Quakers 6-4. Freshman Ed Joffe led the team with three goals, including an unassisted one with 2.05 to play to break a 4-4 tie. Senior Matt Rosalind added some insurance, scoring with just 15 seconds left. Bucknell's airtight defense limited Penn to just 16 shots in the game, with none coming in the final two minutes. Once again, at the uh, second game of the season, Mike Allshuler proved that uh, face-offs are an important part of the success of any lacrosse program. Certainly, Mike demonstrated throughout the Penn game. Ted Toma stepped forward, uh, acting like the big dog at time, and actually uh, had a very, very nice play, uh, leading the break and trying to be a feeder. Roslyn uh, stepped forward, which is super, uh, found Allen Donnelly for a couple of key scores. Rozzy finished the day on a beautiful dipsy doodle, uh, nifty little shoulder fake, and basically the pen game uh, was the creation of a statement for our season, and that statement was team play, tough defense, patience, and finishing a tough task. Another super game uh, where we hung in there and uh, uh, played like the real competitors that we are. After routing Holy Cross 18-3, the Bison hosted five-time defending Patriot League champ Army and knocked them off 14-10. John Methvin scored seven goals to lead the Stampede. Clinging to a 7-5 lead in the third period, Bucknell's Dan Kelly, Andrew Tritely, and John Methvin all scored in a 28-second span that gave the Bison a 12-6 advantage. We open this game with four seconds gone on the faceoff, Mike Allshuler winning the faceoff, setting the tempo. We actually controlled the ball for about the first four minutes of the contest, getting an extra man goal uh, early on, running circulation, which is a real beauty. We get a super play from Dan Kelly on a backdoor cut to John Methvin. 
man up scores again. The old and the young. Jaffe comes in and uh, does his thing for Alan Donnelly. And uh, the 28 second span is just a thing to behold. Uh, great coaching, as I'd like to say. Uh, the Army game was just a real example of getting it done. Uh, we played man down quite a bit in the contest, and the man down skill and confidence and basically effort uh, was a significant determining factor. I look at this game as a game of awareness, skill, finishing ability, attitude, commitment, face-offs, desire, and really tremendous long stick play. There are some amazing lacrosse plays uh, in the Army game. Moving into the top 20 after the win over Army, the Bison kept its machine rolling with a 10-5 win over Villanova, giving Bucknell its first 5-0 start since 1970. Freshman Michael Kennedy had three goals and two assists, and goalie Paul Broccoleri had seven saves. The score tied at four at halftime, the Bison dominated, outscoring the Wildcats 6-1 in the second half. The herd tramples the Wildcats, Woj's nightmare. Gaining momentum, poise, and for the first time in Bucknell lacrosse history, crowd control by head coach Sid Jamison. Hugh dominated and begins to uh, ex uh, exude confidence and poise and skill and running up and down the field doing his thing. Nippus is uh, faking his man with checks and uh, cleaning it up. Uh, there's a lot of improvising going on. Uh, but with good skill and good knowledge in doing so. Hamblin scores, uh, which really uh, allows us to feel that everyone is making a contribution to the successes that we have, and that's a great thing to see. We're able to control the ball, we're able to fight through a, which was a, uh, a, a tough game. Uh, going over was skilled, and yet we were able to persevere, and again, we're winning the contest going away. The toughest test to date to the winning streak came in Annapolis against Navy. Down 4-3 heading into the fourth quarter, Bucknell outscored the mids 3-1 in the final period for a hard-fought 6-5 win to stretch the streak to six. John Methman scored four of the six goals to pace the Bison. Tritley didn't believe that the Naval Academy also has flyers, and one of them ran by him early in the game, shot a real zoomer at Brock Larry. Brock and Larry sucked it up with complete confidence, dumped it, and we were going the other way real early in the game, which sent the tone, set the tempo, and from there on, it was a great game. It was a game basically where believing it can be done was really important. Then going out and getting it done, just tremendous. It was a great, great team effort. A game where uh, many times we could have folded the tent and uh, crawled under a rug, but that was not going to happen. It was a game where at the end of the contest we ran through extra man three different times and got a layup, which is very unusual. And it was just a, uh, a real patient, total team effort. Great victory. Now ranked 17th, the Bison equaled the best start in school history, running its record to 7-0 with a 12-8 win at Hobart against the nation's 19th ranked team. Once again, a late onslaught propelled Bucknell to victory. Tied at 7, heading to the 4th, the Bison outscored Hobart 5-1 in the final period. Alan Donnelly had three goals and three assists. John Methvin also scored three goals, and goalie Paul Broccoleri had 13 saves. We're the big dog now. They couldn't stay with us for 60 minutes. At Hobart's home, Bucknell establishes its own lacrosse tradition. It's a wonderful experience for me, uh, standing on the sidelines, watching all of you all play. Um, just a super, super effort with the young guys making a contribution, but really 
the upper class guys, specifically the seniors, just getting it done with a lot of heart and a lot of soul. Uh, again, congratulations. We're now the big dog. After extending the winning streak to 8-0 with a 9-7 win over Lehigh, the Bison, now ranked 10th, traveled west to meet 13th ranked Penn State, a team that Bucknell hadn't beaten in 10 tries. The Bison dominated the game, scooping up 64 ground balls to the Lions' 39. Four players, Michael Kennedy, Alan Donnelly, John Methvin, and Dan Kelly, had two goals each as the Bison moved to 9-0. Penn State assistant coach Rick Young said to me at the end of the game, I've never seen a Penn State team be intimidated. Your guys intimidated us today. It was great. I could hear the fans saying, hey, hey, goodbye, Penn State. Everybody was a factor in this one. Uh, I felt great because they tried to play a little bit of zone. They tried to play some gimmick defense. And uh, at every turn, we were able to make significantly good plays and cash in. Uh, some an amazing lacrosse skills demonstrated. DK slam dunk uh, was just one of them. Solid everywhere. And how about the fans? Not often do you put people in the bus, take them to watch a lacrosse game, but it was super. A great game, a great victory, and again, uh, well earned. Still ranked 10th, the Bison flexed their muscles with an 11-3 route of Patriot League rival Colgate. Bucknell jumped out early to a 5-0 lead and never looked back. Eight different players scored goals as the Bison improved to 10-0. A good working day with pride, staying focused and playing at the next level. Uh, I could hear the uh, head coach yelling, keep the ball away from number 43. Don't let number 43 get on the ball. Uh, that's kind of fun when you can under, and you can appreciate uh, what the other coach is uh, going through. Uh, Colgate had a fine team, but clearly Bucknell was much stronger in every area. Now ranked ninth, Bucknell closed the home season with a 13-8 win over UMBC. The score tied at five early in the third quarter. The Bison proved to be too dominant in the second half once again, exploding for five unanswered goals and a 10-5 lead. Alan Donnelly led seven Bison scorers with four. John Methvin had three, and senior Jim Crane had two. UMBC is one of those teams that you uh, look like on your schedule and. Uh, get the jitters about. Uh, they were playing zone for the entire game, something that we hadn't seen the entire season. And so I was a little bit tight about how we were going to adjust and how we're going to play against the zone. We did so uh, uh, beginning of the uh, second quarter and there on uh, played very well. Playing with patience and skill, it was a total, again, a total team effort uh, with tremendous defense against some very, very good skilled players. The Bison had just one game between themselves and a Patriot League championship, and one game being the nation's only Division I undefeated team. Bucknell steamrolled Lafayette 21-5, to 
scoring 12 straight goals in the middle of the game. 14 different players had either a goal or an assist, and the Bison outshot the Leopards 49 to 16 to earn immortality by winning every game that they played in 1996. The postseason honors for the Bison were many, sweeping the Patriot League awards. Coach of the Year, Sid Jamison. Offensive Player of the Year, John Methvin. Defensive Player of the Year, Hugh Donovan. And Rookie of the Year, Ed Joffe. Seven players earned spots on the All-League team. Joining Donovan and Methvin on the first team were Michael Altshuler, Dan Kelly, and Alan Donnelly. Matt Roslin and Chris Nippis were on the second team. Donovan and Methvin were named Honorable Mention All-America, and Methvin and Kelly were selected to play in the North-South All-Star Game. Kelly participated and scored the winning goal for the South team with his patented invert shake and bake. 1996 was indeed a storybook season for Bucknell Lacrosse. It is rare for a team to come together and put together a perfect season, but Jamison's crew authored such a masterpiece. We hope that you've enjoyed this look back at a tremendous year undefeated, best record in school history, and the first Patriot League title.